This is one of the workshops which you'll be using extensively in years seven and eight as you build the projects that we do in Key Stage 3. We use a lot of the, the, the hand tools that you would normally um, uh, see carpenters use. Uh, and we also use the machinery in the room to build all of the projects that you will be doing. This room is another one of our workshops where many of the tools that you would have seen in the previous workshop are identical but in this room we're able to, to, to manipulate and, and manufacture using metals but also computer aided design, laser cutter is in this room. This is a tool we use uh, thinking about modern skills that we teach in design technology. This is the whole way through which all of the workshops are accessed. We've got three different workshops. Uh, there's a room we use for designing and electronics. We're just about to move down to T5. Again, this is another workshop. All of the skills that we teach and all of the other workshops are taught here too, but we tend to use this room for the pewter keyring project, which you do in year seven, uh, and which means we melt and pour metal, and that's the key ring that you would take home in year seven. Part of our aims for all of our students to be very confident and competent designers. So we use this room when we're concentrating on drawing, our, uh, when we're developing our designs, and it gives us lots of space to move around to, to really concentrate on drawing and being a very confident drawer. T6, the room we're in now, we tend to use for designing and drawing, so it's plenty of space for us to, um, to move around, to spread out in. We also use it for the electronics projects that we do, so it gives us the, the space and the equipment to be able to solder and to, to do the electronics builds that we, we need to do as part of your year eight project, for instance. We've seen all of the workshops, but we also have two well-equipped IT suites in design technology because we want our students to be able to learn and develop their skills in the modern design world. And that means being able to be uh, designing on computers, using computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacture. So we're developing our offering and we're, we now have two 3D printers and we're going to be expanding that, uh, uh, that as well. We're hoping to offer clubs, so 3D printing clubs, but we're also in year nine when you're starting your Key Stage 4 GCSE course, that's one of the projects you'll do there as well. And these suites here um, really enable us to deliver that part of our curriculum. I really hope you've enjoyed the tour around the Design and Technology Department at Glynn School. I really look forward to seeing you in September.